All right, guys, this is Bank Nifty and H4 chart. As I said yesterday, I told that here is a 22,000. Uh, there is a strong uh, resist, uh, resistance. All right, here you can see 29,900 uh, something. Yes. Let's say uh, 22,000. This is a strong resistance. So we are expecting that price will not able to break this level and it will give a correction from this area. All right. So yesterday you can see, uh, let me show you one thing here and how we identify that trend will reverse from this area, all right, or it will continue toward upside. So at that time we are using that is called uh, Bollinger Band Mean Reversal Trading Strategy. So who people are attending my class, so they know exactly how apply. Let me use Bollinger Band, all right. So I'm using here Bollinger band the manual period. I'm not changing anything and I apply. Now I can see uh, just a minute. Hold on. Yeah, let me click on here. Okay. Uh, now I can see exactly uh, the rule is that when a dozy pattern form outside the Bollinger band, now we can see price is running in an uptrend. And that this here you can see Bollinger band, uh, sorry, a doji pattern form outside the Bollinger band. All right. So when they are appearing, we are looking for short. Now here you can see this is the resistance line, uh, 22,000. All right. And they have given a uh, sell signal by using Bollinger band mean reversal trading strategy. So at that time, we are applying momentum indicator. Now, have you seen uh, momentum indicator? It's a showing they are creating lower low and the lower high. Have you seen it? They are creating lower low. And but if you want to see price are creating higher high and higher low. Exactly the pin bar or you can say there is pin bar from outside the Bollinger Band. So when they appear this type of a pattern, so we are looking for short. So here you can see uh, me and my student start looking for short after confirming this bearish candle. All right. So now you can see here, uh, price just uh, hit this supporting line, which is supporting line. This is a 50 exponential moving average. Now question is that, can I go for short now? I'm not looking for short now. If price break this level around twenty thousand six hundred, all right. If price break this level twenty thousand six hundred, uh, this is a support. So I'm looking for short. All right, that is my sell opportunity. And for the buy, uh, we are looking for a confirmation. So let's jump to fifteen minute chart. Here you can see in a fifteen minute chart. Right now, uh, price hit the moving average 200. Have you seen it? Price hit the moving average 200 and they are trying to give a correction from this area, but they are still not giving any confirmation. Remember, still they are not giving any confirmation. So in that case, we need a breakout. What breakout we need? We need a breakout at least 50 uh, moving average. Uh, this is 50 moving average. All right. So we need a breakout. So let me draw a uh, horizontal line, which is act as a resistance right now. Here I can see why we apply this one. So you can see uh, previous market behavior, price was bouncing from moving average 50, have you seen it? So similarly, we need a breakout. So once they break this resistance line, definitely we'll go for buy, that is our buy opportunity now let's see in a five minute chart when we have seen in five minute chart exactly there are 200 exponential moving average so all moving average are there so in that case we need a breakout most of the people are thinking hey here it's uh, almost uh, you can say 100 or 200 point in between the range how can i miss that 200 uh, point remember you can't catch every pips all right we need a high probability entry point so if price break this level and at that time we are using breakout trading strategy or we need a uh, 
impulsive pullback uh, candlestick pattern or you can apply price action method this is called price action impulsive price action method so once they retrace and we need a confirmation for the buy so definitely we will go for buy for the short we are looking for breakout we never knows i don't want to enter in between this range how many points are there almost uh, four to five hundred points but i don't want to catch this every pip in this area all right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching